ตาแนน In the previous videos, I showed you my recommended travel gear, and one of those is this, the Rivers Pond coffee dripper. It's funny, no, because their their uh, their product names are bodies of water, rivers, and then pond. <laughs> anyway, this um, Rivers dripper, this it's a silicone dripper, and it has a different shape compared to the V60. Here is a normal V60. And as you can see, the angle is much more steep. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the angle is. Um, I don't have a way to measure it. Oh! Wait, let me get my phone. Okay, we are gonna use the leveler. Okay, this is um, zero. And then, if we do that, forty-five. Okay, yeah, it's a forty-five degree angle, so it's not. Um, let me try. How can I test the V sixty? Oh. Here is a glass V60. Then, okay, that is zero. Yeah, so that, that is really 60 degrees. Okay, um, so apparently the, the river spawn dripper is a 45 degree angle. So it's much more steep as compared to the V60. You see how, how flared the V60 is as compared to the rivers? A steeper angle means that the drawdown is faster. So what is the draw? Drawdown is the speed of which your water goes through your um, coffee bed. So if a dripper gives you a faster drawdown, um, usually it gives you more ability to grind finer um, in return which gives you um, thicker body or more body, more full body um, coffee um, as compared to a slower V60 that's why the V60 gives you a brighter um, more acidic um, finish right um, more acidic cup this river spawn coffee dripper has two sides um, it's amazing that they even thought of making it reversible I think this one here the inside of this one. Um, it has more grooves inside. So I think this gives you a faster drawdown. When you have more grooves, um, the paper is almost not touching the walls, right? So when you pour water, the, the water can exit through the sides of the paper, which gives you even faster drawdown. On the other hand, the other the other side of the river spawn um, has a different design. It has thicker ribs, like that. Thicker ribs, but in less frequency. So mas konti siya. So today we're gonna try and brew with the river spawn, and we'll see what the difference is. Okay. For today's coffee, we're gonna use. Helen Martes from Curve Coffee Collaborators. We're gonna weigh 13 grams. So for today's experiment, we're gonna do two different brews. One of one of the either sides of the river spawn. So we'll see how the ribs, the different design, 
affects your brewing. I think you're more familiar with the spiral ribs of the V60, where all the ribs curves like in a spiral and then they all end up at the center. In this case, the reverse, the ribs are straight. So they all go straight down. Remember in the previous video, I showed you that the uh, reverse pond has a folding guide. Here. Yeah. It has a folding guide. So, okay, we're gonna use a normal V60 paper, but we're gonna follow the folding guide. Okay, the final drawdown is 2 minutes and 25 okay, seconds. Okay, so the other sides, um, so the final drawdown is 2.23. Okay, so now we have two different coffees. Um, I just want to try and cool them down first before I take a sip again or take a slurp. <laughs> um, because when the coffee is cold, when the coffee has a lower temperature, you get more of the taste, right? And I've taken, and I've tried them both right after brewing, and then I'm gonna compare again. Um, the difference is not night and day. Um, there is only a slight, slight difference in um, stronger extraction, I think. The, the side with the bigger ribs um, has a stronger extraction. Maybe it has more delay. So that's why it has a stronger extraction. But they both made a sweet cup as compared to a V60 which normally gives you a bright, brighter, bright acidity cup. The reverse pond is more on the stronger, more sweeter side of the spectrum. So if you have, or if you are, if you have one, or if you're planning to get one, um, I would recommend you to grind a little bit coarser than 20 clicks on the Comandante. So maybe play around 23 clicks or 22 clicks. 
So you get to extract more acidity out of the coffee that it makes it balanced because it is um, primarily pushing the sweeter and the more bitter side of the spectrum. So yeah, I think it's a great dripper. Especially Reverse partnered it with uh, their to-go cups, their, their, their plastic cups. I forgot the name, but, but it fits perfectly inside. So it's actually a very small package like this. Yeah, it's a very small package and the, the whole dripper, the whole dripper and the, the base fits inside this, um, this plastic cup. So yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!